This is Chris Kelly with your Model Fit Workout of the Day. For today's workout, we're going to need, I've got a pair of carpet squares here, which you're going to need something to put your elbows on. So it could be a pillow, carpet squares, an Eric's pad if you're in a gym, exercise mat, whatever it may be. All right, so for our first exercise today, we're going to start out with a reverse crunch. All right, with a reverse crunch, what I'm going to do is press my hands into a wall, get my abs tight, press my feet together, and just try to pull my knees back towards my chest or almost like kneeing myself in the face here. So what I'm going to do, get my abs tight, crunch back, come forward, kick out, really press my feet together, pull back, hold, and come back in that fashion. All right? From there, we are moving into a plank crawl. Okay, and with the plank crawl, what I'm going to do, start in a plank position, crawl out, get my abs tight, crawl back in, hold. Again, I'm looking for... Um, that would be one. And again, with, with the plank, I'm just looking for a slow and controlled pace. Really with this, the more gradual we move, the better. Um, you can come down and rest if you need it. We can also uh, place your elbows up on a higher surface, like a, a table or um, you know, a chair, just to kind of take some of the pressure off. All right, we should be feeling this in the stomach only. All right, so come down and rest as necessary. Uh, our next move is going to be a plank toe rock. So with the toe rock, I'm going to rock forward and back, keeping my abs tight. And again, I'm looking for eight reps um, in each of those positions, all right? Today, we're going to aim for something a little different. Um, rather than doing sort of a jump variation, we're going to sprint. So, um, you know, you're, gonna, you're just going to place two objects. Like I used the carpet squares here as a reference. But what we're going to do is just sprint between these two objects, um, you know, ten times. So I'm going to sprint down, tap down, come back, sprint down, tap down, come back. Obviously, I don't have much room to work with here in the frame, but you get the idea. Generally, 15 to 20 yards apart is what we're looking for there. All right, so once again, we're going to set a clock just like, um, you know, our last day's workout. Set a clock for 10 minutes. I'm looking for eight reps of the reverse crunch and the two plank variations, followed by 10 sprints down and back. All right, so that's your workout of the day. Set your clock for 10 minutes. Get it.